going off what appears to be a tangent, I, I rent an allotment off Piper's Way, and um, I have friends who have applied for allotment sites there. There have been three empty for over a year. And the, uh, I, a friend who applied there had to take an allotment um, near Cheney Manor. He assures me that there are lots of sites empty there. And there seems to be when people apply, he was told that the profits of the site I am on was full some time ago. There were no vacancies. This again is council land, and accepting the council is broke. I'm wondering if there is a, an underlying, I hate to say, a plot to go as in the Picard's field and the crop side to, to utilise these for other purposes. Because apparently covenants, as with Picard's field, can be disregarded since the 1990 Act. So covenants seem to be able to be overridden. And um, I'm wondering if there is some overall plan to develop all council-owned land, and um, it's, a, it's an easy option. Sorry, is there a question to all parties? To, uh, no, to, I want a question to all parties, yeah. No, it isn't, it's to the... Uh, yeah, this well, is I'm quite happy to they, they can answer as they like, but I'm quite happy to hit that conspiracy theory on its head. Um, we are absolutely determined to increase allotment provision in this town. The waiting list is coming down. There is still a small waiting list. We are actively working to make sure that people who do not manage their allotments have to give them up to in favour of people who will. We are making big allotments into small allotments, and we've currently got a project on the go to find more allotment sites, particularly where new developments have occurred, where not enough allotment provision has taken place. And before you throw Pickard's Field at me, the whole point of that surplus allotment field coming up for development in 2006, there's nothing new about Pickard's Field, and it was known about, and there was lots of consultation then, was to put a million pounds back into allotments. It was the single biggest investment back into allotments. We didn't get the money because the field hasn't been sold, but we did the investment anyway. Um, allotments is very much part of the sustainability agenda, and I want to see as many allotments in this town as is possible. So we do need more sites. So they're not being managed? Well, they are being managed more proactively. If you would like to speak to us afterwards, we will make, find out where, where your plots are, uh, where you're referring to, and see what uh, we can do about it. Okay. Um, I'm a keen gardener. I'm not very good at some things, but I do enjoy gardening. Uh, I had a, an allotment down at Glenwood Close and a few years ago. You don't always know who has got an allotment and whether they're, they're owned or active because people sometimes leave them fallow or they don't take an active role as some of, some of us do. And I think that's the issue. And I don't, from my perspective, I'm not sure how proactive the management of allotments throughout the town has been. And I think what we we'd like to do is be more proactive in the management of the allotments and work with. Swindon Allotments Association to bring more allotments back into use, look at new areas where allotments can be used and actually have more involvement of the community and the users in those. So it's not the council just saying, oh, God, we think this place is available, but actually working with allotment users and the allotment association. And I think also this is where neighbourhood plans do come in because it's about you as a local re resident, identifying those areas that you want to green, that you want to bring back into use and, and um, take care of. So there's opportunities there, definitely.